So what's up everybody? Today is what? November the 5th? Anyway, tomorrow's the uh, election day. Um, that's not what I wanted to talk about. So let's get into it. I don't know if you all have noticed, but in most Oriental or Asian restaurants, you'll find what what is an altar either at the front at the register or in the window or wherever they'll have a small altar set up so this altar is ancestral in nature they honor their ancestors they they never forget them they allow the ancestors the good ones um to guide them the ones that they knew and met in his life and the ones that they didn't meet on the other side guiding them so to be reciprocal and to be deserving of their help and inspiration they set up altars sometimes they might leave some food or some fruit might see some water or whatever they honor the ones that came before them and are the reason why they are here today all right so recently november the first um just passed so a very uh november the first is very very special to mexican people all right maybe not all of them but they celebrate that day as i think they call it the day of the dead um but it's it's a word that they uh, say in their own language i can't think of it now but they have uh, parades and they they sometimes they dress up and with skulls paint skulls on their faces and it's a day to honor those who came before them they honor their ancestors some people say worship whatever okay but they definitely honor whether they they feel that they're worshiping they call it worship or not that's not in our business okay so they they celebrate they drink and pour out libations and alcohol and whatever it is that their ancestors loved when they were here. They make big meals and stuff like that. I think the Indians do it too. The East Indians, they they set up altars to their ancestors and they reverence them. They don't forget them. No, they don't forget them. So other, a lot of other people do it. I know the uh, the Yoruba uh, in West Africa. West Africa. They are they venerate their ancestors, and I'm sure a lot of other um, Africans, uh, depending on the, I guess the tribe and the religion, they venerate their ancestors. So ancestor veneration is worldwide. I have never heard anybody speak ill of these people's culture where they venerate their ancestors the ones who have died and moved on the ones that they love i've never i've never heard no one desecrate them and tell them they're devil worshiping and and worshiping demons and and all that but when we so-called black quote and unquote black American when we try to venerate our ancestors in our own way by setting up our, our altars and you know offering food water coffee whatever it is that um, our ancestors may have liked when they were here or whatever we feel like um, we should be doing for them they call us all kind of names devil worship and stuff like that you worship in the ancestors we don't worship the ancestors you fool we venerate our ancestors just like the asian just like the mexican just like all these other cultures that got enough sense to realize that they're in essence their ancestors are still here but in another essence and plus they're the reason why you're here. 
and they loved you a lot of them loved you when you know you you the ones that you know of may have loved you dearly you love them you don't forget them ever but nobody talks about them now um so us people here in america american people like american people grew up christian but that wasn't our original religion we had multiple religions we have we came from multiple spiritual belief backgrounds we weren't christian i don't care what you say you can lie all you want christianity was basically forced on you and programmed into you and you didn't even our people and our families didn't even have enough sense to make the uh, Christian God and Savior and the, the biblical people look like them. You you worship a white God, a white Savior. All the disciples are white. Mary, everybody's white. You don't even have enough sense to worship your, your uh, God in your own image. Talking about it don't matter what color they are. Yes, they do. You don't understand what that did to your subconscious brain. And it did something, no matter how much you had rejected and later in life, it you have something in you that, that you are not gonna ever get rid of. I like the example Dr. Umar gave in one of his uh, lectures when he was talking about this very same thing. He said, it's, not, it's like a laptop, a new laptop perfect everything's working fine and then it gets a virus you can get that virus off you can get it off but your laptop will never be the same the same it is with with all you and all of us who grew up with those damnable uh, images in our head so uh you know let me get into uh christian ritual rituals yeah, I'm going to talk, talk about you today because you need to shut the F up when it comes to other people's belief system. Ain't nobody telling you what you should believe in that. What you do is demon worship and the devil and satanic. But, but check this out. You talk about us for venerating our ancestors by setting, putting their pictures up and us feeding them, giving them light, but yet still, you worship a white man who died 2,000 years ago. You pray to this man, you cry to this man, you talk to this man and expect him to, to, to do everything uh, for you. If he didn't, if it, if it got done, he did it. All that stuff. And then you want to say, Jesus didn't die, that, that he's still alive. You, that's why we, you know, we worship him and blah, blah, blah. The man died. He died. He, he, was, he arose from the dead. And then he went to the father. When people died, what do you say? They, they went to the father. Quote, unquote, heaven. The man is dead. You worship a dead man that's not related to you never did anything for you not even the same race as you and you spit on your ancestors not only that you you walk around with a cross with this this fault this guy i ain't gonna call it false god because you have the right to believe what you want even though i should you you you, you spit on my my belief system you go around with a symbol of this this dead ass white man on a cross hanging around your doggone neck and some of them some of you have the the nerve to tattoo this idol on your body walking around with a dead man on a cross if that ain't ancestor worship and uh worshiping the dead i don't know what it is not only that but during your communal uh, ritual, you drink the blood and you eat the flesh 
of this man, this dead man. That spiritual cannibalism. You will never hear about us who have ancestral um, altars who venerate our ancestors talking about mama, I'm finna drink your blood and eat your flesh and all that. Uncle Freddie, I know you dead you died 20 years ago, but I'm finna drink your blood and eat your you. We don't you don't hear that foolishness from us. So you talking smack and you you doing some show enough stuff that sounds more demonic and satanic than anybody that has ever had enough love in their heart for the people who passed on, who set up altars and venerate their ancestors. You're the one who's demonic and satanic, you cannibal. You can say what you wanna say. And let's, let's go here, let's go to your Bible. Let's go to this Bible that you don't know nothing about. You don't know how to read it anyway, so you ain't, you really ain't got no business reading it unless you stay in Psalms or Proverbs or something like that. You ain't you you don't need to read that. You're too retarded to be to be able to get inspiration from from Psalms and um, Proverbs or any other part of the Bible. Let me, let me go and remind you what your Bible says about that idol. Y'all be hanging around in your neck. You got them hanging up in your, in your house so you can look at it every day. And ancestral, somebody else's ancestor that you're worshiping and idolizing. Let me, let's go to the scripture. Let's go to first. Is it, um, it's in Exodus. I think it's Exodus 20. Verse 4 through 5. Just go to Exodus uh, 20, and it tells you not to make an image of anything above heaven or below it. Do not make any image or picture or anything. That's what you were commanded to do. Yet and still, you got this idol hanging around your neck of a dead, dead white man that died 2,000 years ago hanging in your house. Tattooing, tattooing it on your crazy body. Let's go to another scripture. Let's go to Psalms 115. Psalms 115. Go look at it. Don't just take my word for it. Talks about how your idol got eyes but cannot see. Got a mouth but cannot speak. Ears but cannot hear. Legs but cannot walk. All through the Bible that you claim is the word of God for you to follow, uh, for you to follow a quote unquote righteous path and this lifetime is telling you the very opposite of what it is that you're doing. You don't even follow that on, on your own Bible, that own book, your own book that God wrote with your crazy self. God wrote the Bible. God wrote the freaking Bible. Oh my God. You extreme hypocrite. You demon possessed, cannibalizing hypocrite. Do you know that uh, originally Christian meant Cretan? You know what a Cretan is? Look it up. Look it up. A priest is a stupid person. And that's what Christian originally meant. And you you are definitely stupid. You ain't got a dime's worth of sense. I, I swear. You dumb as hell. Crazy. So I already had a back and forth with people on Twitter. And I told them the very same thing. Now, I'm doing a video for you. You need to shut up when it comes to other people's belief system. Just say, that's your business. This is what I believe in. And then people might respect you. Even as crazy as you are, people might still respect you. If you can just respect them. So I just wanted to put this out here for you Christians, specifically for you, uh, you black Christians, 
you really look ignorant worshiping a God that looks like the people that you claim enslaved you and took everything from you and oppress you today in so many multiple ways. Your God looks like them and then you wonder why you don't have it in you to truly to truly get up get from up under these people's oppression because they look like the God that you worship and the Christ that you serve and cry to and pray to. You got to resolve that first and you always be screwed up in some way even if you do pretty much resolve it. In other words, don't put that crap, at least don't show your, your children that crap. Have them worshiping a, a, a white man and his uh, uh, disciples and all that. Okay, I'm talking to you black folks. I'm talking to white people. You, at least you had enough sense to worship a guy that looked like you. But whatever. I'm sorry, I don't. You have a nice one now. So, this is the end of my video. Um, I didn't mean to be disrespectful. But then again, you need to wake up. You need, uh, you need to get your feelings hurt. So, uh... Whatever belief system that you have, uh, mind your own business and leave every, everybody else alone, okay? Just be happy and worship your God, whatever he look like, whatever it is, and shut up. Peace.